Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now an algebraic expression has small, many different parts like small small parts together make an algebraic expression. So one very critical part of an algebraic expression is term. So what are terms? These are parts of an expression which are formed separately first and then added. So it, it is like the strain. So how is a train formed? A train is formed by adding small small compartments together. So when you look at this train, you have compartment number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So you have these small 8 compartments, all of them added together to make the train. So in a similar way, in an algebraic expression also, you have smaller parts and all those smaller parts are added together to make the algebraic expression. So let us give take one example. So x plus 4, this is an example of algebraic expression. So this has, this expression as a whole has two terms. One is x, the other one is 4 and these two terms are added together to form the expression. Similarly, let us take another example. Let's say 3x minus 2y plus 1. So how many terms are present in this expression? So there are three terms. What are those three terms? 3x minus 2y and 1. Because when you add 3x to minus 2y, and you add that to 1, so you get this expression. So these are the terms. So 3x minus 2 by and 1 are the three terms which make this expression. Let's look at it another example. So you have something like 10x. So in 10x, you just have one term basically because you are not adding anything in this case. So there is just one term. It is like you have just one compartment in a train. So you have one compartment so you, you don't really have anything else to add. So in this case, what are the terms in this expression? It has only one term and that one term is 10x. So these are terms. So let us look at some more examples of terms. In fact, we'll look at more examples of algebraic expressions and then we will see what are the terms in that expression. So let's say you have an expression like this 3x minus 9 divided by 2. So how can you write this? This can be written as 3x by 2 minus 9 by 2. So this in turn can be written as 3x by 2 plus minus 9 by 2. So basically these are the two terms because these are the two entities which are getting added in this expression right so 3x by 2 is one term and minus 9 by 2 is another term so this expression has two terms similarly if you have an expression like this 4y cube plus 3 so here this is one term this is another term so this is one term and this is another term so in this fashion just by looking at which are those uh, parts which are added to give that expression you can find out the terms of an expression thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you